So here's the uh, basic setup with the uh, uh, plasma ignition on the front and this cap right here. And then um, <clears throat> have this the load coil on the grid, which is uh, analogous to that nail sticking out of that piece of wood. So it's pretty high tech. <laughs> and uh, here's a rotor, magnets every 120 degrees, and I just have these white stickers every 180 degrees so I can use my um, optical tack to check the RPM but anyway triggered by the Swede switch this is a tri-filler coil and um, a recovery winding on the back side I have uh, soldered to those um, leads to the black and white wire going into a uh, bridge into a 4000 volt 2 microfarad cap and so the work that this thing is performing as far as recovery or any kind of work is obviously getting the mechanical and it's a lot stronger punch than just giving um, battery pulses to it because this is actually designed for um, torque still brushless it's not going to have torque like you would expect but it it's quite a bit more than um, battery pulsing and so there's mechanical, I get recovery on the back side into that cap and these caps by the way um, have an internal resistor uh, so it pretty much shorts it out as soon as it's charged but it will get this up to seven, eight, nine hundred volts um, and so there's one recovery, two recovery, I got this battery bank getting charged off of it plus here's this uh, inductive resistor that's also getting hot um, not burning up or anything but the ambient temperature I think was, was around 11 degrees Celsius um, well, it was about 55 because it's kind of a cold chilly wet day today um, and so what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and run this real quick for a moment Set all my gap. I got to reset all my gaps. But anyway, um, okay. So this battery bank right here, you can see it's is getting a little bit of charge. Vibrations keep changing the gap. see that the battery is getting a little bit of charge um, take these leads that's 800 volts almost Okay, 
thing off and the first thing about it is the battery's not even connected so that was just single wire charging off the negative terminal going back to common ground. This is the next, next time I'll actually connect it to the circuit. And uh, uh, here's the resistor here. Ninety, well, it hits up to ninety-eight um, Fahrenheit, which is thirty-seven Celsius. Right there, and generate some heat. And it's feels you know pretty warm. It's only hundred degrees Fahrenheit almost. But anyway, uh, so there's mechanical work, and if you think that this isn't really putting out torque, when this is up to speed, you'll burn your finger putting your finger on this, trying to slow it down. That punch, when that magnetic, co when that coil charges um, by this method, it's a real strong punch. It's it's not just a 12 volt battery or just regular capacitive discharge. It's the mixing going on, which is what's causing um, such a fast, strong punch.